Good morning, students. Welcome to Regina Apache's online teaching. Today, we are going to continue from where we stopped last time. We started with the financial arithmetic, and the, we touched a little bit on percentage, but we haven't solved any good questions on it. Today, we are going to solve one of the questions. This set, this is GCE question, and the, is boiled down on percentage. The question says, a trader allows his customer a discount of 10% of the marked price of article in his shop. Discount is the, the deduction from the normal price of goods. If they are selling something 200 naira and somebody say it gives you a discount, means the person reduced the price for you. Now, Discount of 10% of the mark price of his article in the shop and the further discount of 2.5% of the reduced price of cash payment. So, if you buy the goods, he will give you 10% discount. If you pay cash, he is also going to give you another 2.5% price. So, let us solve this. They say you should calculate the price paid by a customer who buy goods marked 840 uh, if he pay cash. So if that person pays cash, he's going to give the um, person um, discount. So let's start. The first thing is the normal price. The normal price of the goods, the normal price is how much? 840 Now, discounted price. Remember, 814 means it is 100% of what they are selling the goods. Now, discounted price, he gave 10% discount. So, since he gave 10% discount, it's going to be 100 minus 10, which is what? 90% of the normal price. So, it's going to sell the goods 90% of the normal price. Therefore, we are going to get 90 over 100 times the normal price is what? 840 over 1. So when 0 we cancel 0, 0 we take out 0. 9 times 84 is going to give you 9 times 84. Okay. Which, mm -hmm. which, which is 756 naira. So this is the so this is the reduced price, we call this reduced price. He has reduced the price. If you are buying the goods, he's going to sell the goods 756 naira. But if you are willing to pay cash, so if you are willing to pay cash, for him to give, if you are willing to pay cash, it's now going to be minus two and a half for cash payment for cash payment is going to give 100 minus two and a half percent of the reduced price so the reduced price is already 756 but since you are paying cash it's going to give you two and a half percent discount which is we are going to do 100 minus two and a half percent of the reduced price which is going to 100 minus 2 and a half is going to give you 7.5% of the reduced price, which is 756.00. So therefore, 97.5 over 100 and 756.00 over 1. So when, we, when you solve it out, you will see that there is 7.1 now. So, if you pay cash, you are going to buy the 737.1 naira. But if you are not paying cash, it's going to give you 756 naira. Good. Okay, question two. A motor dealer, motor dealer buys a car from a manufacturer for 300,000 naira. He added 15% when he sell it to another motor dealer, who then add 20% of its cost and offer it for sale. If he allowed the third dealer 12 and a half percent discount, 
when he buys it, how much does the third dealer pay for it? There are three persons in this question. The first person is the motor dealer who buys the car from the manufacturer. So he buys the car 300,000 naira. So that's the initial cost of the car. The initial cost is 300,000 naira from the manufacturer. He added 15% when you sell it. So remember, initial cost is now 100%. Now, because he added 15%, so let's say selling price, selling price is now 100% of the initial cost plus 15%. So that will give you 115% of 300,000. So that's the, that's the selling price. So let's get the amount 115 over 100. Times 300,000 naira over 1. Double zero, we kick out double zero. So 115 times 300,000 naira. That will give you 34500. 34500. So that means he bought the car, 300,000 naira. He sells the car, 345,000 naira. So he's a big man. Now, you not sell it to the second person. Second dealer, the second dealer now buys the car. This is what he says. So, which means the second dealer cost price. So, cost price is not going to be this one because this person said it. So, you are buying it. So, it becomes the cost price. So, it's going to be 345,000 there. Now, the second dealer now added 20% to sell it. Are you seeing it? So let's say selling price is now going to be. Now this is the 100% of the cost price, which is 100 plus 20, which will give you 120%. So let's find how much you wanted to sell. It's going to be 120 over 100 times 345,000 over 1. So double zero, take out double zero, and that will give you. And that will give you 41400. 41400. So the man wanted to sell his car. 41400. But he now has something in mind. If he allows the third dealer 12 and a half percent discount when he buys it, how much does the third person, the third dealer, pay for it? He gave that third person two and twelve and a half percent discount. So therefore, now let's go to the fourth person. Discounted price. Discounted price is now going to be hundred percent. That is hundred minus twelve and a half of of the cost price. So therefore, we are going to be having hundred minus twelve point five. That will give you that will give eighty seven point five. 87.5 percent. So therefore, we're having 87.5 over 100 times 41400 over 1. And when you when you divide, you will see that we're having 362 362250. So therefore, he sells the car to the third dealer 362250. Therefore, the amount. The third dealer pays for the car is three six two two five zero nine. So that's the amount the third dealer pays. Um, in our next class, we are going to look at the ratio. We are going to look at ratio. We are done with percentage, so we are going to look at ratio. I will urge you to pay more attention. Thank you.